Hey guys, what's up? My name is Emily Hood and welcome back to this week's episode of The Hood Report. On this week's episode, we will be discussing the compromise that led to the avoidance of another government shutdown, the NASA rover that said its final goodbye, and an upset and a disappointment for Mizzou women's basketball. President Trump signed a bipartisan bill to avoid another government shutdown and fund the government through September. The new spending bill was signed hours before the government was set to shut down and includes $1.375 billion for a border wall. Along with this compromise, Trump also declared a national emergency to build the border wall. This declaration is set to bring a string of legal battles against the Trump administration as it has been criticized by both Democrats and Republicans as an overreach of executive authority. However, the 8,000 federal workers can rest easy after knowing they will not have to go through another shutdown like the 35-day shutdown that occurred in December and January of last year. Mizzou women's basketball has had an exciting week in their games against number 5 Mississippi and Tennessee. Last Friday, Mizzou was uneasy as they were set to take on Mississippi State and their star player, senior Sophie Cunningham, couldn't even warm up because she had been on IVs due to an illness. A game-time decision to let Cunningham play was clearly in the best interest for Mizzou as she scored a game-high 20 24 points and had an important assist to Sierra Porter, who scored a three-pointer that secured Mizzou's victory, 75-67. to With their win, Mizzou was the first SEC team in two years to beat Mississippi State in the regular season. After the excitement of this game, they had high hopes heading into their match against Tennessee, who they had upset earlier in the season. However, a late foul called against Mizzou caused the Vols to go up 62-60. to Tennessee's strong defense stopped Sophie Cunningham from scoring a layup to regain a tie, and they were able to pull out the win. Even though the end to the Tennessee game might not be what I had hoped for, I love watching Mizzou basketball this year and I can't see what comes for them for the end of the season. Last week, NASA announced that its Mars Opportunity rover had died after roaming the surface of the planet for 15 years. The rover surprised everyone with its long stint on the planet after it was originally only scheduled for a 90-day mission. NASA lost contact with Opportunity in June of 2018 after a huge dust storm covered the surface of Mars. The vehicle relies on solar power to charge, so they were worried about its survival. After the official announcement that Opportunity was dead, her final resting place was dubbed Perseverance Valley as a testament to all the discoveries she was able to make on the planet. And that is all the stories that we have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's episode of The Hood Report. And as always, make sure to tune into this channel tomorrow to watch Sports Break with Jake. I hope you all have a great week.